Phillips Clarko will host the first of its three timed classic car auctions on Wednesday, April the 19th, with the first lot ending 24 hours later. And uh, quite a lot to look at. Well, I'm very impressed with this Ford Escort XR3i, Jeff. Yeah. Mainly because I love it in Caspian blue. It's got quite low mileage, 65,000 miles. Registered on the 1st of August. It's one of the very first B-Reg yes. in the country. Very remarkably straight condition. The interior is unblemished. It's been off the road for a little while, this one, hasn't it? Yes. It, I just don't think it will take much to get it back on the road. There's a, a Z-Bart sticker in the back yes. there, which suggests it might have been... Uh, so this is the telltale that it's probably been rust-proofed from new. And it certainly looks to have held up pretty well, doesn't it? Really nice. Original example of an XR3i. Unmolested. Yeah. Sensible guy price. Absolutely. It needs a sympathetic recommissioning behind. Perhaps. You put a new set of boots on it, give it a good wax, and I think you'd have a really nice car. I'd buy it for the uh, pop-out uh, cassette drawers alone <laughs> in the centre console. I think it's just uh, it's worth it for that. But if you want uh, a, another Ford, but maybe a little bit more modified, may I draw yes. your attention to the Mark IV Escort van here? Well, well, these are rare enough to start with, aren't they? Yes. And, and to, to find one that looks like it's basically been driven out of 1998 is quite remarkable. It's the 1.8 diesel engine yes. with a 60 horsepower. Yeah. Largely original inside. It's had this nice bronze respray and it sits on a set of Mark VI RS2000 wheels. They would have had ginger caters and not clear white lenses. Well, that's the original interior fabric. I can see it's got the original stereo. It's got a glorious period car phone in there as well. Yes, it has. Um, it's overall in really straight condition as well. So I think that paint job is superb. And I don't know if you were looking for something a little bit different. You see a Mark I Escort Estate now and everyone fawns over it so the time's got to come isn't it where yeah. these become really collectible absolutely well look we do like our jaguars well I, I like my jaguars i see what you've done here because you've continued the ford link haven't you very good yes yes, yes ford were owners of jaguar by this point yes this four liter xjs this is a 93 car and therefore it got the chrome bumpers they turned to big plastic bumpers in late 93 so this is one of the last of the sort of chrome bumper models quite unusual in white i would say with the magnolia interior would i be right in thinking this has got the four liter aj6 just before the aj16 exactly the aj16 came in like slightly later than 93 yeah. but the interior in this is also remarkably good condition just really lovely straight car this quite like it in white you, you wouldn't think it would work but it does well of course the, the, the saint drove one in white albeit a really early car so uh, it's it kind did, of I guess, yes. reminiscent of that i suppose but uh, what we got over here an e34 5 series yes continuing the prestige theme what metallic oxford green oxford or something, green it? yes so this is a 525 not sure if these are the original wheels because it's sitting on a set of 17s here but it's got the original metric, metric yeah. alloys on the rear seat really nice standard condition just love the originality of this car i think it's about eighty five thousand miles with this one yep. done yeah, and of course the six cylinder cars are bulletproof. Yeah. Know. The interiors, you know, again, the seat fabrics tend to sort of wear on these, but this is unblemished. Wood veneer trim, really good condition. I'd quite happily uh, roll home in that. But look at this, how's this for a rarity? This Vauxhall is... Cavalier 1.6L automatic. Yeah, 1988. Do you know this has done 29,000 miles from new? I just, I love it. Now this is a Mark II. I love its originality. What? Original wheel caps, the interior is unblemished. It's going to be a bit asthmatic being a 1.6 auto, particularly if you yeah, load so, the okay. boot up. But... It does have a tow bar as well, so you know, Maybe for light trailers only. But... Yeah, exactly. And when was the last time you saw a Mark II estate? I would have this. It would just, uh, it'd be great. I'm a big fan of Merck SLs, Jeff, so I do want to point out the R129 here. Yes. This is one of two in the sale, isn't it? Yes, so there's a 300 SL24, which is the earlier M104 engine. Yeah. And this is a late car. This is one of the last of the line 99. These were absolutely loaded with technology, weren't they? Absolutely loaded. Even in 1999, this was still up there with being fairly cutting edge, what with automatic roll hoop and integrated seats and everything else. That actually is a sensible daily driver classic. It's definitely one to go for. But mm. um, if the Cavalier estate is a little bit asthmatic, <laughs> Here's yeah. something a bit more potent. Something of an estate legend, this, A Volvo it, really? 850R. This one has been to the moon. We should point that out. 211,000 miles. Yeah, or but it had a cam belt of 205,000. Right. It's been well maintained and serviced during its life. It does come with the original grill to replace this, uh, what I presume is an aftermarket honeycomb affair. I quite like this sort of uh, slightly grizzly I like one. Just needs a bit of a tidy up, right? Yeah. The interior's a little bit down at heel, but it can all be done and the bodywork's yeah. pretty straight. Don't be put off by the mileage, I think, is what we suggest, because I think it's been well maintained mm. throughout. I just think it's fabulous, really is. Fast, practical estate car. You a can't barnstormer go. of which... Ah, now this one's just arrived, so we don't know too much about this, do we? But no. A Vauxhall Carlton 3000 GSI. Just over 80,000 miles, 24 valve engine, the three litre. This is fabulous. The interiors are really mint, actually. Yeah. Love those heavily bolstered sports seats. Of course, it's got good. the great digital dashboard as well. Nice auto box as well for sort of lazy cruising. Fabulous. I really like it. And again, really straight honest condition but what about something uh 
possibly even more. Well, again, another well. recent arrival, Dame the Double Six here. This is actually a Japanese import. It's, it isn't is it? a Japanese import. There are no fog yep. lights in the rear bumper. They're blanked out in the bumper. Speedos in kilometres per hour. So I'm guessing 124,850 is kilometres, not miles. Yeah. Looks really, really straight example. Of course, if you're getting things imported from Japan, they don't salt the roads. This is really solid. It certainly looks like it is. The V12 engine, of course, is glorious. It, and I drove this one round for the shoot here, and uh, it's so smooth. Beautiful, really nice example. Probably up there with being peak V12. Now, there's still a couple of curiosities in the next yard, so let's go over there and see yeah. what's in there. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. So what else have you got to show me in here? About, how about this uh, glorious slice of 90s magnificence? Yeah, well, I, I do love this Mondeo, I have to say, with being sort of the, the Mark One, with the, the chrome the chrome oval grille there. V6 as well. Yeah, V6 model, lovely. A gear. But I really want to point out the Laguna here, because these are even rarer now. Yes. And so if... that Mondeo had done 29,000 miles. Yep. The Cavalier had done 29,000 miles. Do you want to guess how many miles this one's done? I'm really hoping you say 29,000 miles. It is 29,000 miles. Excellent. This is immaculate. Also, leather interior, unmarked. And I know Joe behind the camera will have fond memories of one because a very small child like Joe would have been carted around in one of these many moons ago. I, I just, I really like them. You just don't see Mark 1 Lagunas around anymore. They don't. Just, they've not survived, but this is a particularly lovely example. There's another sort of, sort of middle-sized fleet car here, the Sierra Sapphire, 1.8 GL model. Again, just they've just vanished. They, just, they don't exist in this sort yeah, of uh, very yeah, early vintage. Very, very clean inside full of cassette tapes, which is always nice. The cassette tapes and the Haynes manual are a particularly good sign as far as I'm yeah. concerned. 68,000 yeah. miles, the original wheel trim. Dealer plates, it just smacks of a car that stood the test of time and well worth saving, I reckon. Yeah, again, it's one of those street furniture, like the Cavalier, it's one of those street furniture cars, isn't yeah. it? A really nice survivor. Yeah, absolutely. Well, look, uh, there's another car I really want to show inside the, uh, the main warehouse there, so we're okay, going to have a look cool. at that. Let's go and take a look. But it wouldn't be an auction preview, Jeff, without a mini. No, star car, obviously. Late MPI model, 70,000 miles, optional full leather interior. And it's really straight, actually. Really, really nice. You're looking under the arches, it's all body color. Same with the sills. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Proper people's car here, Volkswagen Beetle Cabrio. Yeah, 1303 Carmen Cabriolet. I mean, again, they're just, they're so rare now. I mean, this, this one looks like it needs a bit of TLC, but um, I don't know, for someone that wants to take the project on, we know that parts are available for these Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Yeah, it's well, well worth taking on as a Just project. like with the Mini, you know, you can buy pretty much everything you need. But, but the, what about uh, this? But the, the hidden gem in the corner here is this fabulous, we think it's a January 1963 Singer Vogue. An automatic as well, in absolutely fantastic condition. I believe it's done 38,000 miles. Same owner since 1980. You had it resprayed by a Roots dealership. The local dealer. Yeah, here. and it's stood uh, up really well, isn't it? It's just fabulous. It's got loads of old paperwork with it. It's got an MOT from back in 1972. Yeah. Just a tiny bit of patina, but paint actually is pretty much up to show standard. I don't think you'd touch that though. Would you, you would no. keep that originality? You know? And the so interior, absolutely beautiful. Unblemished, a real timepiece from those early 60s when Roots were a, a dominant force. Mm. I think this is probably uh, my favorite car in the sale, actually really reflects the variety of, uh, of the sale, right? Well, absolutely. I mean, there's 120 lots at least, with more coming, and that's cars, bikes, and parts. So head to the Hobbs Parker website. The sale takes place on April the 19th at midday and ends 24 hours later. And happy bidding. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.